Welcome to LibGuides and HTML. This video highlights three opportunities for HTML to be used adjusting content displays in LibGuide. Included are icons and images, use of HTML symbols, and page breaks. A LibGuide has been created to support this video tutorial. Navigation menu is located on the left sidebar. There are three pages in this guide. Welcome or the home page. It provides an overview of guide purpose. HTML LibGuides details the three areas of focus for this video. Icons and images, HTML symbols, and page breaks. The last page, image attribution, provides attribution for icons used in this guide. We will use both the public and creator side of LibGuides for this project. Icons and Images has four individual rich text areas. We will use HTML to adjust the margins around this IRC image. Opening the Edit option, LibGuides has a detailed and easy to use WYSIWYG editor. Settings for images include alternative text, width, height, horizontal space of 20 pixels, and an alignment of left. When viewing from the user side, 20 pixels for spacing adds space for both the left and right margins around the image. Spacing on the right puts distance between the text and the image. Spacing on the left keeps it from a flush position on the left. This can be adjusted. There are two options to view HTML. Select Source from the Editor, or open the HTML Editor option. Locate the image source information and follow details to the style attribute. Where it says Margin Left, adjust the pixels from 20 to 2. Save and close. By adjusting only the left, the image has shifted to the left and retained the 20 spaces between the text and the photo. Previewing the site shows both images are now aligned. Next, we'll look at HTML symbols. HTML provides options for character code symbols such as dollars and cents, arrows, fractions, and copyright. It is possible to add these items within paragraph text and even within navigation tabs and text block headers. Resource links for HTML character symbols are located at the bottom of this page. For this example, character symbols for dollar and cents, as well as fractions, will be used to update these IRC price list items. Open the HTML editor to begin. Locate the 5-8 text. Navigate to the HTML numbers link and copy the 5-8's HTML code. Use it to replace the 5-8. Save. Next, Locate the word sense at the end of the sentence. Navigate to the HTML currency link, copy the HTML sent code, and replace the word sent. Do this in both places. Save and close to view. The changes are immediate. Take time to view the changes on the user side of the guide. The final tab is Page Breaks. As is the case with most platforms, how content displays on the editing side often differs from how it displays on the user side. It's necessary to view both while adjusting spaces. For example, there appears to be adequate space between the monitor icon and the text in the example header. However, when viewing it from the user side, this is not the case. To add a page break in front of the header, 
Open the HTML editor. Enter the break and from the heading symbol. Save and close. The change is immediate. Take time to view the user side and see if the spacing is enough. These are a few ways HTML can help with content display in LibGuide. As you become more proficient with HTML use, there may be others. After exploring HTML options in your LibGuide, be sure to share the results on the LibGuide and HTML tutorial page.